in a circle. Just like you know how a segment um, or a line, those are just a bunch of points put together. But you, all you see is the line. It's like you make a stick. What up, ladies and gentlemen? I wanted to show you, you, how to do some examples with area and uh, circumference of pi. Okay? So let's look first at an example of finding the area of circle P in terms of pi. Pi. That means we're not going to use this as 3.14. We're just going to leave it as pi. Okay? Now, if you'll remember the formula for area, which is not circumference, area equals, what is it, ladies and gentlemen? 3, 2, 1. It is area equals pi r squared. Okay? So, r stands for our radius, which is half of the distance from there to there. Now, we don't have half the distance, do we? No! We've got the entire distance across, which is called the diameter. So, we know that the radius is exactly half of the diameter. Okay? So, if that's 16 for the diameter, correct, it's 8. Alright, so then what you'll do is plug 8 in for pi, be pi times 8 squared, and then we would just do 8 squared, which is 64, and then we'd rearrange it because it's ugly and we like to put the numbers in the front. And they said leave it in terms of pi, so you're good to go. Answer, boom, done. Oh, uh, well, you want to put centimeters at the end, sorry. I don't like doing that because I'm a player. Actually, I'm not a player, sorry. Peace, don't forget to subscribe. Hello, thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe, maybe 